Festival of the Arts. We're gonna check out some of the food booths today. And I'm ready, let's go get some food. <laughs> Look at him! I love them. I love them. And they're on the back too. They're not one-sided, they're double-sided. They're nice and puffy. And, and they have lots. I think they're $29.99 now, right? They don't have a price, they just say one size. But I believe that they're $30 for ears. Um, but they also have the Pixar Vault ears on the other side, so let's look at those. Alright. I would take them off so I could put these on. Oh my gosh, they have a little uh, Pixar um, lamp on the edge. Oh my gosh, that goes with that sweet spirit jersey that I love. I know. These are really cute too, and I like that they're sequined. Yeah, they're so very fun. light. I believe these are, but these are marked, and these are $34.99. Ooh. And I don't know. Because that's because of the sequins? Why. Oh, I do know why. They're lounge fly. Mm. So that's why. They're not Disney Park, they're lounge fly collaboration. Interesting. So they're $5 more, but they're really cute. They're nice. very light. They're not heavy on your head at all. Love that. Fun! <laughs> so the reason we even came in the Mouse Gears this morning is because they have released Mandalorian, Baby Yoda, the Child Tumblers. So there's this one here, which is $34.99, but the one that Abel's getting is this one here. He likes the cartoon on this one versus the like more live. Yeah, this one is really sweet. And that one's $39.99, so it's a $5 difference, but I feel like that one's larger, and I do prefer the design on it as well. Yeah, I like this. This is nice, because none of this was in here last week. No, they only had the shirts. This is um, that this one's is new. Yeah. And that one, I like the, like, yeah. Hold that up, honey, so I can see it. Yeah, that's really cute. This one is $36.99. It's large. There you go. I already got one though. Yeah, you I have like the, the other one. one. Mandalore. Um, but that's just Yoda. That's not baby Yoda. Was there anything else new, hun? Because I saw the phone cases no, and the socks. These. These Those the, are the I was same. For that, yeah. And they restocked the jerseys, but it looks like there's a limited amount. Yeah. Yeah, so those might go. Now. And people are walking out with handfuls of clothes. They're popular. Was there more? On the other side, or is all, all the There's same? More jerseys up here. Oh, gotcha. It's all the same stuff. Some of the Yoda ear hats, but those are just Yoda, not. The, this, this is, is the, the one that Abel got, got last really week. Like, yeah. Wearing it on Monday. So cute. Stuff is flying off the shelves. Yeah, it's. it's they can't keep it in stock. I'm glad we keep this. I wish they had these, but Otterbox. in Otterbox, I know the ones because they're like the Disney ones. I just feel like I don't want to drop my phone and my phone cracks. It's so cute. <laughs> Put a sticker on it. <laughs> they need yeah. I don't think those details will fill my knees. <laughs> you guys want to take Yeah. What? He's working on this piece. This is lining the whole walkway into World Showcase, so you can see lots of different chalk art. It's called. It's so fun. This is one of my favorite parts of the festival. Yeah. Because it's just amazing. And it's like they wash it down and recreate new ones. I know, I and mean, I wouldn't want to if I worked that hard to make it. I'd want to leave it there for a long time. Yeah. All right. I love these pieces because I know there's not wood right now. Right now, it's the art on wood. It's 3D. In the, and yeah, they actually, the tires actually move. Trevor Carlton is the artist. It's really cool though. Very cool. Like this piece does not have a 3D element, so okay. yeah, we're on the same. It's 4500. Uh, Abel originally spotted this top left one with Goofy, Minnie, Mickey, and Donald. It looks really cute. Something you see on Instagram or something. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter thing that's going around. This um, print over here is the only Mickey. Yes. I like that. No, those are the only ones that we have. I know. 
haven't even made it into Showcase or into the Mexico Pavilion yet, but I'm stopping at Pop Eats because I'm gonna try the almond cake as well as the Blue Sky Black Cherry Boba Freeze. Abel is over at Joffrey's getting coffee. You can see him right there. But I'm gonna get some of this while I'm waiting for him. We have the cake, almond cake, as well as the cherry freeze. Nine dollars for the both of them. The cherry freeze is non-alcoholic. Mom and Abel are still waiting for coffee, so I'm gonna start digging in on this by myself. Kind of cold. Like, Abel, like, you look so thrilled. We both love this consensus on the. Um, cherry freezy is so good. My favorite thing for the Festival of the Arts. Yeah, this is the only thing you've had so right far. Here. You can't say it's your favorite thing if it's the oh, only so thing you've had. So far it's my favorite. <laughs> so it's um, almond cake mm -hmm. with raspberry jam and chocolate ganache, right? And see, I think it's too dense. I actually... I like that. Um, I, I don't like it. <laughs> Show it in your book though, Caitlin. What does that call it? Because I don't think I described it correctly. But this thing, they love. It's a almond, I don't know how to say that, cake layered with raspberry jam and Belgian chocolate. You were correct. Well, and then the one, ganache, but. Oh. And then the one that I got and we both love is the Blue Sky Black Cherry Boba Freeze. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. It's just well, really, it almost it tastes kind of like almond paste or something. It's really dense. But I do like my paste. Mm -hmm. So that makes more sense, like marzipan, which is why you would like that. But good, I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty for pictures, but I wouldn't get it again. We came for the churros, but I think Abel's going to be getting the plant-based bratwurst as well. We'll it see. Looks good, looks good. It looks really good. This is at the outpost, so this is the little stop in between China and Germany. Let's go get it. I'm going to try it first. Yeah. This is a plant-based bratwurst with slaw and other stuff on it. It is a full, I mean, yeah. it's going everywhere. It Look smells it. really good though. There you go, baby. That's a good bite. Was <laughs> it a lot of texture? It's a lot of flavor to take in at one time. Do you, you got a little something right there. <laughs> it's hard not. I mean, this thing is messy. Oh wow! It's really good. Now you can have. <laughs> I cannot tell if it's meat or not. Really? You wouldn't yeah. be able to tell. Yeah. If I if you didn't tell me oh it's meat, I'll be like, okay. It's really good. You have to try it. And, I'm gonna do, and we got the cake brush churros. So last year these were by Test Track, um, but this year they're now here at the Outpost. And these are really good. It is just a churro dipped with different colored frosting. So it looks like paint dipped paint brushes, um, but they're really good. You gotta do the churros at Disney. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how more sugar makes those better, but they're delicious. <laughs> Here's the inside. I, I, I recommend it. All right. Where's the button? Yes. Going into the Germany Pavilion, and we are passing this festival booth, Dave and Beth's Hobby Rockers. One of a kind, hand painted, hand carved wooden creations. And these are all rockers. They're so cool. Let me show you the other side. There's also these ones that are just on the poles. So these guys are 80. And these guys are about 26 And it's insane. So this one's made to look like the Anandapur truck at Animal Kingdom. Um, 
They're just huge. The different animals. Wow, these are really cool. And these weren't here. Yeah, it's new every time. I love that dinosaur. Missing some teeth. The artist is here today. Of all of these. The Germany Pavilion Band is behind us and is very loud. But the artist is right there. So if I purchase this postcard, I'll probably end up having him sign it. <laughs> oh, this is the last one? There, there's a couple over there, oh, but there? not very many. It's stunning. Thanks so much, it's fun to do. Yay! Good, We're thanks. gonna do Pink Frozen and Mulan next in the style. Oh, yeah. I think oh, Jasmine would be really good one too. I Jasmine. did Jasmine. Yeah! yeah. Ah. No, I think so. Oh, I'll show you. Disney Springs at Wonder Round. Oh, okay. because she's from last year's festival. Do you ever oh, go to Disney Springs? The fun stuff that's happening. <laughs> you know, an active workshop would be cool, but that painting with the Disney artist looks so fun. Forty-five, four and a half hours, two hundred fifty-nine dollars. <laughs> so I guess the interactive workshop is a little more affordable. Oh my God! There's a table over there that has the seven dwarfs. That is cool. Some of the artists she has within three years. 3D point of view. I want to see the screws. Do, do a boomerang. Able to do a boomerang. Let's see. Ooh, ooh. Full of this knob. Ah. Wow. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. I got a picture. I can send you the one I have, or you can take your own. Kayaki, I think is what it's called. Kayaki. He's really cute. Too it's just it's fish. just a cake with fi with not fish. It's a cake, looks like fish, but it has chocolate and inside of it. With red bean. Red bean filling. Instead of chocolate, maybe. Yeah. Is it nice? Good. So it's a classic Japanese, you know, those type of foods. Yeah, red bean cake. Mm. We're moving in between Mo Morocco into France. There's some beautiful art here. And their paper. I'm not sure if you can tell, but these are 3D images. This one's really cool because he's looking at himself in the mirror. These have beautiful Those are so cool. The bell is stunning. Look at all the glitter. Some of them, to me, at some of the other booths, are just a little bit, you know, from more of a traditional home. Mm -hmm. These are fun. Oh my gosh, there's a baby on over there. You got a Uh-oh. Check out the baby Yoda. We're inside. Oh, he's on top of the sign. Okay, so the plaque is 150, but I think you can do like the, a little ticket book. Oh, yeah, you're right, 175. So that one is not your name customized. That is just a traditional e-ticket book. That's 150. The customized ones start at 175. I guess I still just don't know what if that is also an option because I'm not seeing a price on that. Here's the booth. Very cool. Hey, Joe, where is here? She's the 
always says Belle. She's beautiful just like Belle. Like that one right away. That's all right. Very cool. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. So this is Quasimodo's, what I guess is that, not like a cape. Um, oh yeah, I mean, yeah, costume, but I was trying to figure out a shirt, I guess. There's the actor wearing it. You can see the scene from the play. And here's one of the gargoyle puppets. Wow. Cardinals, guard, tunic and hat from the Three Musketeers. And this is Cinderella, a glass slipper. Maybe the one they used for the movie posters. Here's her dress. Gosh, Lily James is tiny. Um, I don't. I feel like that one's hers. I don't know who else it would be. Sewing kit. I'm ignorant to what the show is, but these dresses are stunning, so I'm showing them anyway. It's Violetta's dress. This is an opera, and then this is Musetta's dress. Phantom of the Opera, costume and mask. That is very cool. There's some sheet music down at the bottom. At over 13,000 performances, it's the longest running show in Broadway history. That's insane. And here's Les Mes. Valjean's coat. Very cool. Magic Mirror, Mrs. Potts and Chip. Coxworth. Beauty and the Beast, of course. There's Lumiere. And then this is Belle's Dress and Cape. Giselle, a famous ballet that's been built for Giselle's costume, I guess. I don't know this one, but it says it's Sleeping Beauty. So, and then this is Carabos costume. It's really pretty. It's like a fairy. Very cool. This is a really cool display. I'm very happy with this renovation and I'm excited to see the sing-along. I'm going to check out the new sing-along. There's costumes in here that you can look at while you wait for the show. So that was our day at Epcot. We had a lot of fun. I got new ears. Abe got his Mandalorian service, and we tried tons of booths. So I'd say it was a success. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.